What's going on everybody, The Ultimate here, and today I'm going to be doing a Max Transcendent Parasol Eisen Showcase. This Eisen is probably my most expensive Eisen, costing me about 20k plus orbs since he came out. As you can see, he is transcended all the way. His accessories for IZ and Co-op IZ are going to be Chappy, Gold Chappy, and Zeta Pill, and the links are going to be Ishin, Zalaparo, and Zangetsu. I have the Zeta Pill in there because of the hidden enemies in this IZ. Now this Aizen is very interesting, like the, the first strong attack is kind of like Senkaizen's that it slowly walks forward but it's actually way faster and you can actually cancel the animation out of it. So you can like guard break and cancel the animation of the first. What I like about this Aizen is that it does have a vortex on its second which lasts quite a while and the third strong attack is a full screen so that's always a bonus he does have double sprinter so it makes him really agile on dodging enemies and moving around and he's pretty much one-shotting most of the enemies except obviously the guard break the bad thing about him is that he doesn't have flurry he has a lot of bruiser but not flurry And he cleared this solo IZ single player pretty fast. And now we're gonna solo co-op IZ with the exact same build that we use in the single player IZ. As you can see, most of the enemies are being one-shotted or two-shotted. Obviously the killer helps a lot with one-shotting the enemies. It sucks that he doesn't have flurry, but at least he has an 80% bruiser, which is almost flurry, but not quite. His vortex is definitely nice for keeping enemies in place. And if you paralyze someone with this Aizen, the 5 second debilitator that he has makes him stun the enemies way longer. As you can see, I got very lucky with stunning the Apache, even though I didn't use the ulti. And Halibut as well. <laughs> but that first strong attack, you see that, like, maybe you think it's slow, but it's actually really fast. Like, the activation is really fast, and the fact that you can cancel out of it is really good. I did save my ulti for this last room because the two bosses at the end are very annoying to deal with since their ultimate attacks have a wide range area. And the ulti, which stuns both of them and it gives me enough time to kill both of them completely. And for soloing IZ, it's really, really fast for a 9 character. 
especially for a non character. I did it in under three minutes, I think. Yeah, 249. Now, for Gilquist, since he is a non character, he makes for a really great support unit, especially on the melee Soul Reaper Gilquist. In this one, he was only 4 out of 5, so I can't wait to see how good he will do being 5 out of 5 now. I could probably get this skill quest under 10 seconds now that he's 5 5. And at the end of this skill quest, he paralyzed Ichigo long enough for all of us to kill him off completely. As you can see there. So he definitely makes for a great, great support unit, especially with the Vortex as well, on top of everything. Is this Aizen worth max transcending? Absolutely. He is a great guild quest support, and he can pretty much auto most things. Obviously not co-op IZ, because that's really, really hard to do. For the ER runs, I didn't put it in this video, because it would have taken quite a bit of time. So I'll put it in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. And that's it for me everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a wonderful day. Peace.